it's come to my attention that my Miko build is actually one of the world's strongest, so let's just show it off. We're here with Miko and Masanori. So the main metric that is being used to determine that my Miko build is one of the top 1% in the world is through the Raiko team, which involves Miko, Bennett, Kazaha, and A. But for obvious reasons, I refuse to play Bennett, so we're going to be using Kuto Sara instead. So, well, let's just show it off. Alrighty, big old, 73 and 93, lots and lots of damage. And my turrets are doing around about 30, 30k a tick, so that's of course really, really nice as well. So yeah, lots and lots of damage coming out of Miko. Now of course there is another team that is being used to determine the power of Miko builds and that is of course a Quicken team using something like Tadasti Zhongli, Nahida and a flex electro slot of which I will choose to go for Kuto Sara. How big is my ult? 70 and 83. And I'll put up on the screen how much damage my turrets were doing because I didn't actually get a good look at it. Now what's interesting is that that Quicken team is a little bit similar to the Quicken team that I normally use, which is of course international. So, well, obviously this is not going to do as much damage, but Let's have a look at how much damage I'm doing anyway with Miko. This is not something that I've actually paid a whole lot of attention to before. Oh my god, stop blocking. Yeah, so we're getting like 40k ticks with the aggravate. And then of course the ultimate is doing around about 40,000 on the first hit. And... 50,000 on the subsequent hits. Oh yeah, sure, let's just block everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep blocking, my Keep blocking. Let's just... Let's just keep going to Pound Town with Masanori. Yeah, 40k ticks just like that. <laughs> Well, we wanted him to be a test dummy for a reason. And uh, yeah, he really do be blocking. He stopped blocking now. This doesn't normally happen, but uh... That really gave us a good insight into how much damage we were doing with Miko, and also everyone else as well, but mainly for Miko. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. How strong is your Miko build? Let me know in the comments, and this is of course a top 1% Miko build. Now the annoying thing about that though, is that in order for me to achieve a top 1% Miko build, I have to actually use an attack sand, because apparently all of the calculations involving Miko are weighted a lot more heavily towards the attack set, which I guess makes sense for like Quicken and Raikou shenanigans, but that kind of means that for like a Quick Bloom Miko team, that doesn't really work because with Quick Bloom you're going to be triggering some Hyper Blooms as well, so I suppose you want to have some additional EM, and having that additional EM will still be decent I think for Miko because her turrets will end up sort of evening out anyway if you have additional EM on your build through an EM sand as opposed to an attack sand, at least in my experience. Of course, your ult does suffer a bit, but not like a tremendous amount. And because it doesn't have ICD, EM sands should be good, but unfortunately it seems like with the calculations that exist at the present moment, attack sands are pretty much superior in every possible way. That being said though, I wonder if the popularity of a quick blue Miko will expand further in the future, especially when Fossil Wars comes out, because, um, 
you know you know but fossil ores could be really really good with miko and baiju in particular uh, for these kinds of quick blue miko teams in which case having that extra em might be really really good especially if you don't have the heater on the team so it's going to be interesting to see how that all turns out but yeah uh otherwise i really really like miko as always i've always liked miko and when she gets a rerun that will be a constellation so that's always been the way that i've been treating her at the present moment and eventually i'll get c6 yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you like this video hit that like button subscribe for more against the impact action and until next time i'll see you guys later thanks for watching peace Silence. The ties beckon.